What's up guys? This is a tutorial on how to replace a rear wheel on the TMG H5 blade. Um, this isn't a very hard process, but I couldn't find a very good video on YouTube describing how to do it, so I figured it out myself and thought I'd make a video showing how, uh, how I did it. So, uh, a couple of the tools that you'll need to do this. Um, you will need a 5mm Allen key a two and a half millimeter allen key, a T10 Torx bit, um, just a standard Phillips head screwdriver, uh, a three eighths uh, wrench, a nine sixteenths wrench, a skate tool really helps out. That takes place of these two here. Um, and just to make my life easier and faster and this video faster, I'm gonna be using uh, sockets of these and stuff to make in a, in a drill to make everything go a little bit quicker. So yeah, let's get on into it. Uh, first thing before I start this, all a uh, little bit of a preface. Um, about a month ago, I noticed that the uh, my left wheel um, started making some noise. So I took it apart and I saw that the bearing was shot in it. So I actually tried to replace it myself. And in the process of that, I fucked it up really bad. <laughs> so uh, here's what we're dealing with right now. <laughs> Beautiful, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and kick off on how we can make that sound a lot better. So the first step in this is to remove the main board and disconnect the wheels uh, from, from the main board. So I'm going to do that. There are six uh, Phillips head screws and this comes off very easily. Okay, so now that we have the screws off, the board should pop out pretty easily. Um, if this is the first time that you've ever done this, the power wire over here is probably kind of tucked under the board a little bit. And once you kind of just pull that out gently, uh, the whole thing opens up pretty nicely. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is start disconnecting uh, wires from the main board. Uh, before you start pulling off wires, especially for the, the rear wheels, um, I like to take a Sharpie and make marks on each of the respective wires so that way you know uh, where each of them go after when you're putting this all back together. The main two to look out for is the position of uh, this plug and this plug right here. They're the only ones that are extremely similar and you'll want to make sure you put those back in the right place. I don't know what happens if you don't, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm going to start disconnecting stuff now. For these, I, uh, they're pretty easy to pull off, but I, uh, I put a dot on one side and it looks like my mark's coming off, so I'm going to put a dot on this one too, just to signify uh, which one goes where. And for these, instead of dots, I did lines, just to, just helps when you're putting all this back together later. Oof. So this is probably your first time taking this main board off. So um, on these guys right here, you'll probably have some sort of like black uh, plasticky looking stuff. You can easily just scrape it off with your fingernail. I think it's just to make sure that the connection doesn't come loose when you're riding it. I didn't have any when I put things back together, so um, I haven't had an issue since, but um, you might look into getting some of that uh, plastic stuff to put back on these afterwards. Um, to remove these, once you've removed that black stuff, um, you can kind of grab all wires and uh, kind of gently put your fingernail um, under uh, like where it plugs into and just kind of wiggle it, wiggle it back and forth until it comes out. They're in there kind of snug, uh, so uh, just be careful not to rip any wires, but they do eventually come out pretty nicely. And like on this one, I put a, a dot to signify that it goes with this connector. After that, there's one on the bottom here. Um, oh yeah, um, my cousin has the same board and for some reason his doesn't have, I don't know if you can see it, his doesn't have this 
black wire right here. I think it's a ground wire. It runs back to the battery. Um, but if you do, it comes off very easily, just like everything else. Just kind of pull this paper flap up and it comes right off. So onto the other wheel connector. There's that. And then I think that's enough now to let the whole board be removed. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side. All right, so now that we have the main board removed, we have uh, all of our wires here that run back to the wheels. Um, because this is a drop through deck, you actually have to feed these wires out. There's no easy way to, uh, there's no easy way to remove a wheel without taking uh, the, the trucks off. And I'll show you how to do that just here in a second. So the next thing that I do, once I have the, the main board I'm done, is I like to take uh, this part off. And that'll allow us to tilt the trucks back and pull the wires out. So you can use your skate tool here or whatever to undo this, but just like any other skateboard. Some of these pieces get really small, so it's nice to have some sort of container to keep them all in. Now I can tilt the trucks forward, and you can see how if you uh, you can kind of push these wires through. This is your first time taking the board apart. There will be some sort of like heat shrink, I think, that connect that hold these wires together. Um, I just took a knife and slid it down the middle to remove it, but that's the only way to get the wheels apart. So you might not, or you might have to do it, depending. So with this, uh, the board's done. Now we can remove it and just uh, go to work on the, on the hubs. Now that we have the rear drive assembly off of the board, we can begin taking off each of the motors. So um, you, I'm only gonna take off the left one because that's the only one I need to replace, but you could do both here. This is your five millimeter Allen key, by the way. The first time you take these off, they're gonna be really tight because they have some pretty good um, thread lock on them. So uh, a T tool like this might not work. You may need something with a little more leverage. With the last one off, this retaining plate come. This retaining plate comes off, and you can easily pull the pull the hub off of the uh, the trucks. So now we are left with one bad truck or one bad hub. Sorry. Um, if you guys would like, in a separate video, I can show you um, how to uh, remove all the screws and stuff from this, and I can show you how I attempted to uh, replace the bearing on it. I think if I had to do it again, um, I know what I did wrong last time. So, uh, yeah, I, if, if you're looking for that, I can show you how I would try this again. Now we've got the new hub. There she is. Yeah, that spins a lot nicer. Okay. And let's put this new one back on. So an important thing to note is you can, if I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little tab on one of the four sides. This tab faces up if you're looking at the trucks like this. So what happens is, this uh, like retaining clip or whatever you want to call it plate goes in there and the the lip on this part of like the axle I guess prevents the wheel from being able to slide out of the truck so you want to make sure that this tab is facing up Awesome. 
now that that's seated, we can go ahead and stick our plate back on with the four um, five millimeter Allen screws. Put one on there just to get started. It's so much easier to do this off of the board because these are actually facing down when they're on the board and it's almost impossible to get an Allen key um, under the trucks to be able to do anything. The first time I tried this repair, before I knew that you had to unplug the wheels from the main board, um, I tried it and it took way longer than it needed to. So save yourself some time and take, the, take this whole assembly off. Okay, now that that's snug, we can work on uh, putting things back in the board. So I'm going to pull that back up now. Alright, so at this point we are ready to tuck these four wires back through the, the center of the, the truck holder. And that would uh, go to the main board. So you can't, it's hard to see, but there's a, there's a hole there. And there's also a hole on this side that the, those four wires have to go through. Um, this is kind of annoying and probably the most like tedious process of the whole thing. But if you take your time, it's not too bad. through so at this point um, before you tuck the board in you could either uh, like use some electrical tape to tie these two together or just not worry about it like I'm gonna do because I don't really know what the point of that heat shrink on there was for because these are actually heat shrinked as well so maybe it was just to keep them close but I don't think I need to put any more on So I'm not going to do it. Okay, so after you have all the wires tucked in, you can take the the tip of this truck here and insert it into the hold on the um, the truck holder below. You just want to keep these, these wires sort of tight. As you're pulling it through. Okay. So right before, I'm just going to give them kind of like a tug as I'm pushing it down into place. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this fastener on. I don't know all my skateboard terminology, so I'm sure there's a word for it, but I just don't know it. And I think you guys know what I'm talking about regardless. Okay, so I'll tighten that in a little bit. But now that we have our four wires, uh, we can grab the main board again and plug everything back in. So before I plug in the, the wheels, I'm going to do some of like the more tedious crap with this ground wire in particular. Some of you are lucky and just don't have it. I don't even know if I have to have it on there, but I don't wanna find out. I don't wanna have to take this thing back apart. So I'm just gonna stick it on now. plug in the wheels and this is where you want to make sure that you mark them because I don't know what would happen but I bet it may invert the wheels so forwards backwards backwards is forwards so make sure you get this part right dot to dot line to line maybe and by the way this side with the with the tab on it not not the wire side, but this side faces up when you're plugging these back in. Just make sure they're nice and snug. I feel like they're in there pretty tight, so I'm not going to worry, at least for now, about putting any of that, like, sticky, like, or that 
kind of plasticky adhesive stuff that was on there before. I'm just not going to worry about it. So uh, let's power up the, this is the charger. And last but not least is the main power. So before I put everything back together, I'm going to go ahead and test it now. So I'm going to turn it on underneath. Okay, we've got power. That's good. You remember how bad this wheel sounded before? Should sound amazing now. Oh, that's amazing. That makes me feel really good. Yeah, and everything looks like it's going right. I'm going to try reverse. It looks good. Cool. Success. I just wrap everything up, put it back together, and I'm going to go on a ride. So this looks like a mess right now, and it kind of is. It's a little bit difficult to put everything back together. It feels like you're smashing stuff, but um, this is like my fifth time taking the board apart. So, and I haven't broke anything yet, so I think everything in here is uh, attached fairly well. Um, the, best, the, the best word of advice is just to tuck these cables as flat to the bottom as possible. Um, and then from there, um, just make sure that you don't have any wires like really pinched. Um, I have never had an issue, but it's, you know, better safe than sorry at this point. So I'm just kind of watching all the wires as I'm tucking them under. Um, oh yeah, in the beginning I'm sure you noticed that um, you probably had to take off some sort of like foam here. Um, I actually have a little piece of foam that I'm going to try to use, but if, if you don't, um, I recommend maybe finding something. I think that water can actually slip down here if you're running over puddles and whatever, so it's a, it's a good idea to try to fill that gap, maybe like electrical tape or something, just to fill this uh, seal and seal it up from the outside. So I'm gonna try that now. So what I'm gonna try to use is this like foam tape stuff. I use this, it's like weatherproof sealing on my car. Um, I'm just gonna rip off a piece of it. And um, wrap around the cables down here which should give me a nice, some sort of seal on that. I didn't include that in the beginning, so I apologize. I don't know how big of a deal it is. It may not be a big deal, but it was there before, so I'll try to put everything back the way it was. Um, this, ca this power cable is really fat, so if you can figure it out, um, you can actually tuck this orange-yellow part back under the board a little bit and really get it out of the way. Feels like everything's kind of even. I'm gonna put one screw in. pisses me off now is I think I stripped the screw or stripped the whatever it was housed in so I'm gonna have to fix that later but uh, as of now the board's working it's on everything's put back together all right guys now I have everything attached and it's uh, time to give one final test before I go take it outside so power on power Wow, that sounds a lot better than it did before. Uh, thank you guys for hanging in there, and uh, let me know in the comments if I can answer any other questions. Um, I'm down to make more videos in the future, so just let me know. Thanks.